and uh, and we have uh, another child. Awesome. Awesome. Now, what profession were you in at one time? I was actually a nurse. Um, I was a nurse for a number of years working in ICU and hospice, and slowly but surely, I got more and more involved in prescription medication uh, to the point where I couldn't go to somebody's house without looking in their medicine cabinets and taking whatever I could find. I mean, I was, I was a mess. My son was afraid of me. My husband didn't want anything to do with me, and I was taking pills continuously. So Nicole's been reestablished with her her husband with a new baby named Katie, and she's a sweetie. And um, so now your your husband is working and so forth. You're raising the children, and and you're serving and helping in the ministry and and everything. Yeah, I mean, just awesome what God does. Awesome what God does. Well, is there anything that you'd like to share about what can help somebody else? I was actually a member of a church for 12 years while all this was going on in my life. And I thought I was saved and born again and didn't have any problems. I thought I was walking with the Lord. I had no idea that I wasn't. And since I have been here, I've actually learned what a relationship with the Lord is all about and learned how to overcome addiction and how to to deal with all the things that used to cause me to want to take pills. Now I know what to do and don't have to escape from that. And so my husband and I are now like-minded and on the same page and raising our kids to, to love and worship the Lord. And we're raising warriors and we're out there. Praise God. Third dimensional warriors. That's what we want to raise up. Third dimensional warriors. Isn't that awesome of what God can do? I mean, but you know, her whole circumstance was on prescription medication. And you realize how many people that are out there that are bound by pain pills or or psychic pills or, or and all kinds of other pills that just because a doctor prescribes it, people think, well, it's okay. You know, but you know, the number one killer in this country is prescription medication. But I'm telling you, God can free people and set them free. And truth that sets you free if you practice it. You may know it, but you got to practice it. Thank you so much, Nicole, for your testimony. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. And we have another brother here, and, 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 and this will be our last one for the night. Praise God. And, and let me tell you, I, I, I've seen this man fight. I, I, I've seen him fight. And, and so he's come up and down, but he has had victory total victory and and i want to introduce you to now my neighbor <laughs> he's coming through the program but now he lives next to me hallelujah this is john hi you know i was um basically as brian mentioned you know, i was bound in alcohol and drugs from a young age and uh i i've I was always trying to overcome that and i had been in in church i had been to aa in a intensive outpatient programs. I went to a 28 day uh, inpatient program that was one of the best that insurance could buy. And I, I, whereas I had periods of abstinence, I never had freedom. And um, uh, as that developed, you know, I had a successful career on the outside, but inside um, it, was, it was never living in free. What were you doing a, a, as a trade? I, I was an aircraft mechanic. I, I a jet mechanic? Yes, I worked for the airlines. I, I had a federal license. I have a federal license to work on air, aircraft. And I did that successfully externally, but uh, internally, and, and the testimony is that um, literal physical death at that time was more appealing than the, than the torment that I was going through. Mm -hmm. and, and so I just wanted to get out of that torment. And, and I, I learned uh, subsequently, you know, that the, the devil wanted, he wanted me to kill myself and God wanted me to die to myself and just surrender. And so that was a lesson that I learned here. And, and uh, you know, when I came to Total Freedom, uh, one of the testimonies is that I was in such, my whole life was in turmoil. It was just a terrible circumstance. I was in despair. But when I made that phone call and, and uh, uh, the administrator, uh, Wade Sansing, answered the phone, I had peace. I had peace that passes understanding. And, and, and it was beyond natural understanding. And uh, I came into the program and it's a disciple program and there's discipline and, and it's it's challenging it's not an easy walk it's not an easy program but it's something that they teach you and, and then the, like the first two months of the program is classes every day uh, uh intercessory oh prayer. so you don't go to work right away right no no <laughs> 
you, you take you give your life to God and, and you and you did it cost you anything to come in the program no that's interesting because the um, the program that I went to that was a 28-day program was was seventeen thousand dollars for those 28 days here when I called they said come in John come in they didn't ask for any money and those two months all they did was take care of me clothe me feed me and teach me the truth and uh, it was so it's such a blessing to learn and that and and what you had mentioned earlier that that freedom is learned and I learned how to be free and 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 being filled uh, with the Holy Spirit how, how was your wife during that circumstance during that time well we went through some some very difficult times we were separated for almost uh, two years and uh, I would say our marriage was as far you know as far as being destroyed it was destroyed and and I could see it uh, not being reconciled I, I in fact I lived a thousand miles away from her and um, God brought me back and and God restored I have a I have a, a beautiful wife I have a, a healthy relationship with my children we have restoration in our family um, and, and God is still restoring. It's a wonderful yeah. thing. It's it's still ongoing. You know, re re restoration never stops, you know. And once you get in position, God begins to restore everything. And, and according to his will and according to his time, you know, just like what John was saying, though, and, and his wife gets restored. And, and, and in the ministry, uh, there's marriage counseling and, and then there's family groups. And, and you know, it, it's just really powerful because it's not just the, the individual that, um, has been taken addictive, uh, been taken captive of addiction, but it affects the rest of the family. And so there's got to be things that need to be healed in every area, wounds that need to be healed, forgiveness. And, and then they, then the family needs to grow up to learn how to fight. You know, you, you can't outrun the enemy. You must turn around and fight him eventually uh, because you can change locations, change relationships, change jobs, but, you know, the enemy always catches up with you no matter how long you try to stay clean until you turn around and fight him. John, thank you very much for your testimony. And God bless you, man. Sure, it's an bless. honor. It's an honor and blessing. Now I want to introduce one other person here tonight with us, and it's the 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 lady behind the camera. So come on out here, Rosie. 